Are you everyone? Good morning. Am I visible audible? Someone in the chat box please confirm visibility audibility is great so I can start ahead. Just give me one second. Let me check whether it is starting. Whether it is streaming properly or not. Okay. Okay. So yes, it has started. I can see it. Okay. So very good morning to all of you. I welcome you all for this session. I am Dr. Priyanka Sachdev here, your educator on an academy. And uh, I am here to continue my series Oncology by Dr. Priyanka. I have launched this series in which I am going to cover entire oncology in the ambiguous uh, subjects cover to cover of all organs one by one. So before starting uh, organs, systemic oncology, I thought of taking general oncology that is general neoplasia from the pathology, second drop. So we have covered general neoplasia, we have covered the genetic regulators, the main topic, molecular mechanism of neoplasia, nomenclature, differentiation, metastasis, molecular mechanism. So those who have missed all these recordings, all these recordings are available free either on the YouTube or special classes of an academy. So you can watch the recordings anytime. So today my topic for teaching to you is diagnosis of cancer. So this is the last topic, diagnosis of cancer and tumor markers. This is the last topic of general neoplasia. After this topic, today it will be completed. In the next two hours or one and a half hour, we are going to cover diagnosis of cancer and tumor markers. This is a very important topic, especially tumor markers. Very, very important topic for MCQs. Many MCQs come from this topic, number one. And uh, after that, we will start systemic oncology. From the next lecture onwards, we will start systemic oncology. We will take all the systems one by one. I will start with hemato-oncology. So I will teach you all lymphomas and leukemias first in hemato-oncology. So we will finish hemato-oncology first. Then we will move to the systems. So we will start breast tumors, liver tumors, kidney tumors, GIT tumors, esophagus, stomach, intestinal, bone, skeletal, brain, I know so we will cover all tumors in the next 10 or 15 days I guess we will cover all tumors systemic oncology will be completed from my side so let me finish today's topic so I'm starting today's topic is diagnosis of cancer so I hope you people are with me I hope you people are with me so give me a thumbs up okay okay done so I'm starting so I'm talking about general cancer I'm not talking about any particular organ cancer in general I'm asking to you if there is a cancer, you are an oncologist and a patient is in front of you, either the medical oncologist or surgical oncologist, you are an oncologist practicing and patient is in front of you, patient is having some malignancy, some malignancy. So what are the options you are having for confirmation of malignancy or diagnosis of malignancy? Patient is presenting with a lump. A lump anywhere can, can be a malignancy. A lump anywhere is a tumor. It can be benign, it can be malignant. Now what are the ways, what are the options you are having for diagnosing it? Does anyone know? 1, 2, 3, 4. What are the ways? What investigations you will ask the patient to do? A specific investigation for diagnosing cancer. I am not talking about um, non-specific investigation. You will ask for CBC and some other investigations. Okay. But what are the specific ways of diagnosing a cancer? So, yes, you are right. Some of you are right. So, there are seven ways to diagnose a cancer. The most important among them is histological method histological method by histology in histology i will teach you there are two methods of histology number one we take biopsy either the biopsy or surgical specimen and number two we do frozen section so these two things are coming in histology that is the most important method for diagnosing a cancer if a patient is presenting to you a lump anywhere in the body patient is having lump in the breast lump over the face skin mouth anywhere he is presenting with a nodule or a lump that is overgrowth of a tissue extra growth of a tissue first you have to ask for biopsy so that is the most important investigation that is known as histological method in histological method apart from biopsy that is paraffin tissue there is also frozen section now i will tell you what is the difference between biopsy and frozen section and when these are utilized so when you will actually practice in clinical field now when you will pass your mbbs and you will do your mdms whatever and you will uh, you will be there in the actual field and you will uh, interact with the patients then these investigations will be useful for you you know so which investigation to order which patient when and of course this is useful for your mcqs also second is fnac fnac you can order always of order fnac cytological method now you will ask ma'am which is better histological or cytological 
which is less costly which is more expensive which is better for the patient which is less invasive which is more invasive and which is giving which information so what is the difference between fnc and biopsy you may have these terms so i will explain you both don't worry the third is histochemistry and cytochemistry in histochemistry and cytochemistry histology mein histochemistry aaya साइटोलॉजी में साइटोकेमिस्ट्री आया सो फर्स्ट मेक अस्टोलॉजी स्लाइड देन मेक अ साइटोलॉजी स्लाइड देन अप्लाई स्पेशल स्टेन्स ऑन बोथ ऑफ दम सो द थर्ड इन्वेस्टिगेशन इज अप्लाइड सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू डू हिस्टोलॉजी और साइटोलॉजी एंड देन यू कैन डू स्पेशल स्टेन ऑन दम द स्पेशल स्टेन ऑन दम इज नोन एज केमिस्ट्री सो हिस्टो केमिस्ट्री साइटोकेमिस्ट्री सो आई विल आई विल टेल यू द डिटेल्स ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दम डोंट वरी द फोर्थ इज आई एस सी वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ अर डेज in this molecular era this isc investigation is really very important the full form of isc is immunohistochemistry it is the latest technique and on um, uh, nowadays questions are coming from latest techniques in your competitive exam so you should be aware of these terminology so what is immunohistochemistry so i will tell you what it is electron microscopy you already know apart from light microscopy there is always electron microscopy fluorescent mic microscopy tumor markers very 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 important what are tumor markers how do we do it so in all these investigations i will tell you how we do it what is the use of this uh, particular investigation what is the procedure and what is the advantage of that particular method over other methods so these are the investigations you should order to your patient if you are a oncologist and you are suspecting any malignancy any organ malignancy in your patient so let's talk about them one by one done so let's start with the first that is histological method i'm starting with the first investigation histological methods now listen there are two histological methods two paraffin embedded technique known as paraffin embedded technique and frozen section frozen section i will tell you both frozen section fs so let's talk about the first one paraffin embedded technique let's talk dono ke bare mein baat karke then i will compare the both so what we are doing here what we are doing have you ever thought your patient is coming to you just suppose the patient is having breast tumor or breast lump i don't say tumor it is a lump so it is a breast and there is a lump inside the breast so surgeon has cut this lump you are a surgeon you have cut this lump so lump is out of the body the lump is out of the body this is the lump this is a tissue it is made up of tissue now so not only breast lump any lump in the body the surgeon has cut it down so it is a tissue either the surgeon has cut it down entirely so it is a surgery or surgeon has taken a piece out of it not the entire so it is known as biopsy so biopsy and surgery may you do biopsy you will take a small piece out and you do the surgery you take it entirely out so whatever you do it's your wish so you are the surgeon you have to decide whether you first do the biopsy then operate operate to karna hi hai there is no way ki bina operation ke patient theek hoga only way biopsy agar aap pehle karte ho if you are doing biopsy before operating it then you will take a small piece out and looking at the piece you will decide whether it is benign or malignant by doing the pathological histopathological examination so if it is benign surgery is the only treatment and if it is malignant after surgery you have to give chemo and radio also so the purpose of doing biopsy is that only to decide whether it is benign or malignant biopsy ke baad surgery to karna hi padega so there are some surgeons who directly do surgery who directly do surgery kyunki surgery to karna hi hai na anyways it is benign or anyways it is malignant you have to do surgery so surgery karke pura ka pura tissue either you send in the laboratory or a small piece of the tissue you send in the laboratory the small piece is known as biopsy the entire specimen is known as the entire tissue is known as specimen so either you send biopsy or you send the specimen to the laboratory it is made up of tissue it is some of the tissue of the body whether it is breast brain stomach whatever it is a tissue it is a lump it is a tissue so it is in the laboratory now the histopathologist will examine it will make a slide of it so have you ever thought ki is tissue ka slide kaise banega it is a tissue na this is a tissue which is out of the body now it is not in patient's body just suppose patient is having a lump here here anywhere in the body so surgeon has cut that lump taken in a vessel and now the tissue has to be converted into slide so that under the microscope we will see that those 10 features in the last lecture i have discussed the 10 features which differentiate benign from malignancy so loss of basal polarity hyperchromasia pleomorphism anisocytosis mitosis giant cell necrosis so all those 10 features whether they are present or absent so we will decide whether it is benign or malignant for that we have to convert this tissue into slide so my question to you how we convert this tissue into slide 
टिश्यू को स्लाइड में कैसे कन्वर्ट करें टिश्यू अ सॉलिड थिंग ना आई हैव टेक इट ऑन अ ग्लास स्लाइड सो आई विल कट द टिश्यू आई विल टेक अ पीस ऑफ इट सो आई एम अ पैथोलॉजिस्ट आई एम अस्टो पैथोलॉजिस्ट यू आर अ सर्जन पेशेंट विल प्रेजेंट टू यू नॉट टू मी यू आर द क्लिनिशियन सो पेशेंट विल कम टू यू पेशेंट विल से डॉक्टर आई एम हैविंग अ लम्ब समेयर इन द बॉडी सो यू विल एग्जाम इन द लम्ब यू विल यू विल कॉन्सल द पेशेंट इट कैन बी बिनाइन इट कैन बी मलिग्नेंट इन बोथ द सिनारियोज वी हैव टू टेक इट आउट सो वी विल डू अ सर्जरी वी विल टेक इट आउट आफ्टर टेकिंग इट आउट वी विल सेंड इट टू द लेबोरेटरी फॉर हिस्टो पैथोलॉजिकल एग्जामिनेशन देन अ पैथोलॉजिस्ट विल सी इट एंड ही विल गिव द रिपोर्ट ही और शी विल गिव द रिपोर्ट वेदर इट इज बिनाइन एंड मेलिग्नेट After that, we will decide for the course of treatment. If it is benign, your treatment is over. Go home, never come back. If it is malignant, come back. We will give you chemotherapy. We will give you radiotherapy. And every three month or six month, you have to come for the follow up. So that is the protocol, standard protocol. That is standard. Now, if and buts, there are many changes in it. Done. So okay, you got it. Now you are a surgeon. You have cut it. Send it to me. I am a pathologist. You have sent the specimen to me in the laboratory. Now there are steps. I will convert. this tissue into a slide by a technique known as paraffin embedded technique so that technique in which i will convert the tissue into a slide for looking it into the microscope i cannot put this tissue into the microscope now ye itna bada lump to main microscope mein nahi dal sakti na under the lens of the microscope i have to convert this tissue on a slide i will put the slide in the microscope so that technique by which i convert the tissue live tissue tissue out of the body into a slide glass slide hne slide that is known as paraffin embedded technique done so what are the steps there are six seven steps so i am a pathologist first i will cut i will cut i will give multiple cuts in this tissue 1 2 3 4 a standard you have to give cut at 1 1 cm so at every because if you are giving big big distance you are giving cut one cut here and after 3 4 cm you are giving another cut after 3 4 cm or 10 cm you are giving another cut it is a big tumor just suppose tumor of ovaries are 30 40 cm big big tumors are there so you have to give cut every 1 cm so that every minute detail should be noticed by you it is not the thing ki bahut jaldi mein to bade bade duri duri pe cut de di aur thoda bahut dekhe kahin se bhi sectioning kar liya so you have to take proper section it is a big tumor you have to take small 1 cm section 1 or 2 cm section so 1 or 2 cm section should be the representative of that complete tumor so first cut the entire tumor like multiple sections 1 1 1 1 1 every 1 cm open all the things see it entirely and take small small bits out of it from the various areas so it the bits you are taking should be representative of the complete tumor if it is homogeneous throughout take two or three bits or four bits if it is heterogeneous take one bit from every area but some area is green some is yellow some is brown so take one one bit from all the areas and if it is homogeneous take take three or two two or three bits are sufficient have you got it have you got it number one have you got it now before this before this yeah listen you are a surgeon you have cut the specimen you are in ot the patient is in front of you you are doing the surgery you have cut the tumor out of the body of the patient now you will send it to the pathology na you will send it to the lab how you will send if you put it in a container and keep it closed in a container it will rotten body ke bahar aane ke baad it wo to sad jayega na it will get rotten so to prevent it from rotting you will put it in 10% formalin it is a liquid 10% buffered formalin so ask the relatives of the patient to bring this container a brand new container from the market or these containers are available in the hospital also so from ot table cut the tissue out put your tissue tissue the tumor tissue the tumor tissue in this container and fill the container 3/4 container fill it with 10% buffered formalin please learn it for mcq so 10% buffered formalin what it is it is fixative it is fixing the tissue why we are using it what it is doing actually when cells are present inside the body they are viable as soon as you are cutting a tissue this is the breast and this is tumor inside the breast unless and until this tumor was present inside the body of the patient the tumor cells are viable but as soon as you cut out this tumor out of the body out of the body patient se bahar nikal liya so its blood supply is cut na from out all the side its blood supply is hindered you are taking the tissue out all the cells will die all the cells inside the tumor will die within few hours or within few hours when this tumor will reach the laboratory pathologist can see nothing it is only necrosis 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 so pathologist will not see anything so how he will decide whether it is benign or malignant so you are purpose it so as soon as the tissue coming out of the body of the patient you have to fix it in that condition only this step is known as fixing what it is known as so the first step is fixing give me a thumbs up if you got it 
Give me a thumbs up if you got it. So fixation, fixing or fixation is the first step. Fixing means as soon as the condition in which we are taking the tumor out, we have to fix the tumor in that condition only till it reaches the laboratory to the pathologist. So we do fixing in 10% buffered formalin solution. So this buffered formula, formalin solution will freeze the cell in that condition only. It will freeze the cell in that condition only. So you can see it is 10% neutral buffered. It is written on the container also. 10% neutral. Percentage is also fixed. Now you, you can get MCQ that what is the solution used for fixation in histopathology. So it is 10%. Different percentage options can be there in your MCQ. So it is 10% neutral buffer. Buffer formalin. Buffered formalin. And for how much time you should keep it? Keep uh, the tissue in this buffered formalin? For 24 hours. See. See, for 24 hours, it is also shown in the diagram. For 24 hours, you have to keep it. And within 24 hours, that will reach your laboratory. Now, your laboratory will be somewhere in the city, out of the city, if the patient is in a village or a periphery. So, anyways, within 24 hours, your tissue will reach the laboratory. After the tissue will reach in the laboratory, the pathologist will cut it, as I have told you, at 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 centimeter. Multiple cuts will be given in the tissue and the best section will be taken. So, just suppose I am taking, I am taking, section one section from here one from here one from here one from here so i have taken three four sections so whatever i find appropriate i'm looking at the gross i have decided which sections are appropriate the second step i will put it in a processor tissue processor so it is a machine so this is a tissue processor in it approx 8 to 10 containers are present can you see these are the containers these are present these are present now you will put your tissue there, there is a container there is a vessel inside all these container there is a vessel the katori is just a vessel you have to these cut tissues put in a tissue container so you have to put it in, in container number number one one two three four five six so likewise these are the containers and you start programming from here this is automated programming so these containers contains alcohol and xylene so alcohol one alcohol two alcohol three so multiple alcohol passes are there then multiple xylene passes are there xylene one xylene two xylene three multiple xylene passes are there so what the alcohol is doing and what the xylene is doing by multiple times you are putting your tissue in alcohol alcohol is a dehydrant so your tissue this is your tissue this is your tissue it is made up of cells so it contains water now all cells contain water so alcohol causes dehydration all the water is taken out of the cell so alcohol is acting as a dehydrant so before making a slide of that tissue you are taking the water out so number one you are using a dehydrant number two xylene why you are using then multiple passes of xylene are there xylene is a clearing clearing agent so it will make your tissue as transparent so you want on a glass slide you want your tissue to be transparent so xylene will make your tissue as transparent so multiple passes in the alcohol and multiple passes in the xylene so 8 to 10 containers are there now you will ask me ma'am ek ek container mein humko dalna padega kya in the first container the time is 1 hour in the second container time should be 1.5 hour so total time it will take 10 to 12 hour in the complete process tissue processor is the name of this machine so it is available in the labs it is available in my lab also done so it, it is not the thing ki ek ek container mein manual nahi karna padega it is automatic you put the tissue in the first container start your program so after one hour the tissue automatically come out from the first and it will go in the second from after one hour it will come out of the second automatically will go in the third and when you come so in the night usually what happens when i leave my lab at eight o'clock or nine o'clock at night so i start this programming and go home and sleep well and in the morning when i'm coming back at nine o'clock in the morning again in the lab the program is already over so that 10 to 12 hours in the night we can utilize like this so in most of the labs it happens in the night so when in the morning i am coming all the 12 passes 10 passes are done have you got it so this is the second step we are doing it as a over tissue processor overnight overnight cycle is there so this cycle for is for 10 to 12 hours automatic cycle is there and in in this we put the tissue in multiple passes of alcohol and multiple passes of xylene alcohol is a dehydrant again important mcq and xylene is a clearing agent so learn the mechanism and uh, formalin buffered formalin uh, is a fixator. So learn the chemicals. Buffered formalin fixation ke liye use kar rahe. Alcohol dehydration ke liye use kar rahe. Xylene clearing ke liye use kar rahe. So you can uh, imagine how many uh, new MCQs can be framed from this topic. Done. Coming on the third step. Third step. Ab kya karenge? Ab kya karenge? Ab subha hai. You are a pathologist. Ab subha subha apni lab mein hai. Ye tissue processor band ho chuka hai. It has stopped. Iski programming has completed. So you when you are leaving last night you have put your tissue in first container and when you are arriving in the morning the next morning 
दट योर टिश्यू इज इन द लास्ट कंटेनर सो ये ऑटोमेटिक सारे कंटेनर में से पास करके आया है सो टेक द टिश्यू आउट फ्रॉम द लास्ट कंटेनर समटाइम्स ये बीच में रुक जाता है कभी कुछ गड़बड़ होती है तो उसको रिस्टार्ट कर दो जान लास्ट कंटेनर में आ गया है तो टेक इट आउट सो ऑल द अल्कोहल एंड जैलिन पास आर ओवर टेक द टिश्यू आउट द थर्ड स्टेप फिक्सेशन टिश्यू प्रोसेसर द थर्ड स्टेप इज एम्बेडिंग द थर्ड स्टेप इज एम्बेडिंग इन वैक्स वैक्स विच वैक्स पैराफिन वैक्स You know wax, mom, bati, mom. My wax means mom in Hindi. It is known as mom. So uh, wax, when when we heat wax, it is liquid. When we cool wax, it is solid. It is semi-solid. So that is wax done. So we need an agent in which we will put our tissue. The agent, the background is wax. In which we we cut it. We cannot cut the tissue directly. Means tissue is thick now, two or three centimeter. I will cut it point one millimeter thin slice like a chips. इतना पतला चिप्स के जैसा काटना है तो आई नीड सम एजेंट फॉर कटिंग इट सो दैट एजेंट इज वैक्स आई कैन नॉट कट द टिश्यू डायरेक्टली डन सो आई विल डू एम्बेडिंग फर्स्ट इन वैक्स देन आई विल डू कटिंग सो द थर्ड थिंग इज एम्बेडिंग सो दीज आर द कैसेट्स these are known as cassettes these are available in the market there are plastic cassettes also metallic cassettes also so these are square like they have a fixed dimension whatever is the size one is to one whatever is the size so they have a fixed dimension these are squares sometimes rectangles also so these are cassettes plastic also metallic also so what you will do you fill these cassettes with wax with wax uh, with molten wax can you see this is filled this is a metallic cassette see it this is a metallic cassette You are filling it with molten, pigle hue molten wax. Say, fill it, fill it with molten wax. Can you see? Then you take your tissue. This is your tissue, na? You have your tissue in your hand, which is out of this processor. That take one tissue, one tissue, and put one tissue in one cassette over that molten thing, over that molten wax. So in that molten wax, can you see? With the help of this forceps, see this diagram. I am putting my tissue. Please see the tissue I am marking with purple here. So this is my small bit of tissue here. So I'm putting my tissue with the help of forceps in this molten wax. Give me a thumbs up if you got it, everyone. So I'm putting my tissue in molten wax in a cassette. Done. So what will happen? Because of gravity, the tissue will go at the bottom and settle there at the bottom. See here also. So can you see? This is the cassette filled with wax. Wax is transparent, and it is the tissue is at the bottom. Tissue is at the bottom because I'm putting the tissue at the above with the help of a forceps, and it will go. So there is. It should be done in a good light. so it is done all the things are done by technicians in the supervision of a pathologist in a laboratory and the complete process will take total 3 4 days ye sari steps hone mein 3 4 days lagenge isliye biopsy ka tet we give patient tet of biopsy within 2 or 3 days and if it is a specimen surgical specimen after 10 days so we ask the patient to come later on aisa nahi ki subah diya sham ko report milega 24 hours ke liye to it should be in formalin agle 12 hours ke liye it should be in tissue processor uske baad hoga embedding uske baad hoga cutting uske baad hoga staining uske baad hoga reporting so these are the steps so at least 3 4 days takes it the whole process so biopsy ka report kabhi bhi ekdam se nahi milega then so you have to consult your patient you are a surgeon ki ye specimen hai ja ke isko laboratory mein submit karo lekin laboratory mein 3 4 din wait karna ja ke unko chillana mat ki report do report do 4 5 din lagenge 4 5 din shanti rakho jab tak aaram karo tumhara abhi abhi surgery hua hai aur report leke 4 5 din baad jab aa jaye to wapas aa jana so we will see whether it is benign or malignant then so if you are a surgeon you have to consult like this then so you are doing embedding have you got it what is embedding in embedding you are taking a cassette so this is the cassette metallic cassette or plastic cassette you are filling it with molten wax pigle hue wax se fill kar rahe ho then you are putting your tissue inside it can you see this is your tissue here i am marking with blue so you are putting your tissue your tissue which is already dehydrated which is already transparent you are putting your tissue inside it in the tissue processor Uh, so tissue will sink at the bottom because of gravity, and then immediately after it, you are cooling the wax. After putting the tissue, you are cooling your wax. Initially, you have taken molten wax, putting the tissue, molten pigla hua leke tissue dal ke usko cool kar do. You are immediately after that cool the wax, cool the wax by putting it on a ice uh, ice uh, slab. So there are slabs of ice. You put the wax cassette over it, so it will cool immediately. It will. uh cool immediately and after cooling uh it will become semi solid it will become semi solid yes or no then you just revert it usko ulta karke aisa aisa karo to usme se ye bahar aa jayega so the block is coming out so it is a block is a wax thing wax square containing your tissue at the bottom tissue was at the bottom na because it sink so ulta karke aisa nikaloge to tissue will be at the top so this is a tissue at the top so this is known as paraffin block 
नो द थिंग विच इज फॉर्म इज नोन एज पैराफिन ब्लॉक एवरी वन गिव थम्स अप दिस इज पैराफिन ब्लॉक उसको कैसेट से बाहर निकाल लिया हैव यू सीन आइस ट्रेस वी पुट इन द आइस बॉक्स आइस ट्रेस देर आर ट्रेस इन द आइस इन विच वी फिल द वॉटर दीज आर द होल्स इन साइड इट वी फिल वॉटर उसको रख देंगे फ्रीजर में एंड वेन वेन इट इट कन्वर्टेड इन टू आइस वी टेक इट आउट एंड वी वी जस्ट जस्ट ऐसा ऐसा करेंगे तो आइस क्यूब विल कम आउट सो इट इज लाइक द सेम थिंग इट इज अ क्यूब ऑफ वैक्स विच कंटेन द टिश्यू गिव मी थम्स अपू गॉट इट गिव मी थम्स अपू गॉट इट नो वी यूज अ मशीन विच इज नोन एज माइक्रोटोम रोटर रोटरी माइक्रोटोम सो दिस इज अ मशीन यू कैन सी देर इज अ हैंडल इन दिस यू हैव टू रोटेट द हैंडल एंड यू हैव टू पुट योर ब्लॉक हियर दिस इज योर ब्लॉक कैन यू सी आई मार्किंग विथ रेड You have to put your block here. Let me show another. Huh? This is you have to put your block here. This is your block, paraffin block, wax ka block, and this is your tissue inside it. So you are putting it here, and there is a blade in it. There is a blade, sharp blade in it, which will cut the chips. Which will which will cut the chips of this block. It will cut the block chips. What is the thickness of these chips? Very very thin. It is five micrometer. One micrometer to five micrometer. You have to set your uh, thickness. so whatever thickness you want you have to set there there is a set uh, meter you have to set your thickness in the meter and you just rotate it so it will cut multiple chips so ye multiple chips aate ja rahe hain can you see aloo ke chips banaye hain kabhi so it is like the same process give me a thumbs up if you got it so it is like chips so it is wax ke chips so what does one chips contain the one chip which is coming out any of the chip contain a wax and a tissue on it a wax and a tissue on it so two three chips cut lo usme se jo bhi best to take that chips take that chips and keep so this is a paraffin block you can see this is the wax ka block on which tissue is present this is the tissue and you are putting it on a microtome see you are putting it on a microtome this is the instrument you are putting it you are setting how what is the thickness you want of your chip and you are start cutting it so uska superficial to deep it will go on cutting so from one block we can make million of chips million of chips means million of slides so one block because it is at least 1 to 3 cent 1 to centimeter thickness now and you are you are cutting 5 micrometer thickness so 5 micrometer karte 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 1 1 centimeter ke liye bhi you will get million of slides yes or no so one one tissue from one tissue you can make million of slides give me a thumbs up if you got it so cut 3 4 jahan pe bhi aapko complete chips mil jaye complete chip mil jaye take that chip stop cutting take that chip take it on a slide take this chip on a slide and stain it next step is stain stain with what stain with h n e now learn the full form of most of you even don't know the full form of h n e it is hematoxylin and eosin h n e so always do h n e stain h n e mein h is purple h is purple color and e is red color so you will see purple and red color combination contrast so some some will stain the nucleus some will stain the cytoplasm based on the acidic and basic uh, composition of the cell so nucleus is acidic cytoplasm is basic so based on that these uh, stains will be picked by the nucleus and cytoplasm of various cells and a contrast is um, obtained so that is, that is h h is blue or purple and that is e eosin is always red so you are using this too and then examine microscopically your slide is ready so you examine it microscopically and see for those 10 features can you enumerate those 10 features toss of polarity mitosis hyperchromasia you know it pleomorphism anisocytosis giant cells so look for these 10 features if these 10 features are present it is a malignant tumor if these 10 features are absent it is a benign tumor give me a thumbs up so your examination is complete and make a report of it make a report of it so you are a pathologist so it is done so this is the technique known as paraffin embedded technique so if you are a surgeon you should be aware of this technique because if anything is uh, not understandable in the report you should be aware of the steps so which step is missing it is defective so you can always call a pathologist and ask that i didn't understand the report or uh, what is the issue so these are the steps so can someone enumerate the steps so we are done with the first technique paraffin embedded technique so first you are fixing it for fixation we need 10% buffered formalin fixation is done for 24 hours so first step is fixation so from ot you will put in a vessel containing 10% buffered formalin fill 3/4 vessel with 10% buffered formalin and fix it for 24 hours send it to the laboratory in the laboratory you put it in a tissue processor into tissue process processor two uh, chemicals are there in multiple jars alcohol is there and xylene is there so multiple passes from alcohol multiple passes from xylene it takes 12 to 15 hours for this 
step to take place. So tissue processor is there. After tissue processor, you do embedding. In embedding, you take the cassettes. Cassettes are metallic or plastic. You fill it with molten wax. So molten wax is the mediator for cutting. And you put your tissue in that. After tissue processing, you will put. So tissue will sink at the bottom. You will freeze it and you will take the block out. So that is known as paraffin block formation. After embedding, you will do the cutting. You will use an instrument known as microtome, rotary microtome. And you will put your block there. You will set whatever thickness you want. Thickness ranges from 1 to 5 micrometer. Kisi ko bhoat patla section chahiye to 1 micrometer. Thoda mota chahiye to 5. So 1 to 5, whatever thickness you want, you cut your chips. And take a chips on a slide. Next step is staining. You do staining with what? Staining with H and E, hematoxylin and eosin. And last is microscopy. You see under it microscope. Of course, a pathologist is required for it. And you do the reporting. Based on the features, you decide whether it is benign, whether it is malignant, whatever it is. You do your reporting. And that is done. Give me a thumbs up if you got it. Everyone give me a thumbs up. What happened? Just a second. So give me a thumbs up if you got it everyone. So these are the steps. So fixation takes place 24 hours. Tissue processing for 12 to 15 hours. Embedding takes uh, place 1 to 2 hours. Me ho jayega molten wax pe take. Cutting also takes 1 to 2 hours. Staining takes place next 1 to 2 hours. And microscopy by the pathologist depends on his knowledge. Again it will take. So overall the whole process will take at least 2 days. So before 2 days you cannot get a report of a biopsy or a specimen. 2 to 3 days are required. Done. So multiple steps are there. Everyone give me a thumbs up if you got these steps. These steps were difficult but I tried my best. In short I have told you these steps. Later on we can conduct a separate class on it in which I will give you detail of each and every step and in the end we will launch MCQs also based on it. So the topic is I guess at your level this, this much knowledge is sufficient for you. Coming on the second thing for histological method is frozen section. Now does anyone know what is frozen section? What is frozen section and how it differs from paraffin embedded technique? You are a surgeon now. Most of you want to be surgeon. Some, some, some kind of surgeon. Either orthopedician or general surgeon or whatever surgeon you want to become. So, you, uh, uh, oncology patient will come to you now with some of the malignancies or some of the lumps, some of the tumors. So, of course, you are a surgeon. You will cut it. If you are an oncosurgeon, it's good. You will cut it. You will cut it. You will send it to the laboratory. Now, they, you have two options. Number one, paraffin embedded technique. Number two, frozen section. So, being a surgeon, you should know the difference between the two and you should counsel your patient for which technique he or she should go. Patient doesn't know about these investigation. You have to tell your patient that konsa wala janch karwana hai. Done. So what is frozen section and why it is known as frozen? What is the reason? And how it differs from paraffin embedded technique? You understood paraffin embedded technique? I hope you don't have any doubt. Done. So frozen section. Now listen. This complete thing, paraffin embedded technique takes place for 48 to 72 hours. So at least 48 hours or ideally 72 hours are required for all step. Fixation, Tissue processing, embedding, cutting, staining and microscopy. So six steps are there. So all six steps require at least 48 to, uh, 48 to 72 hours. Now imagine a patient is in front of you. You are a general surgeon or an oncosurgeon and patient is having breast cancer. She is a female and she is having breast lump, not breast cancer. She is having a breast lump. So this is the breast lump in the patient. Let me draw it to explain you what I mean. So there is a breast lump in the patient. Patient is in front of you. She is your patient. She is in front of you. Now she is a young lady and uh, you have counseled the patient. Now this tumor can be benign. You have counseled her. Madam it can be benign. It can be malignant. So what we do we will operate you and after surgery we will send your lump to the histopathology. They will do the examination and report will come after 3-4 days. After that we will decide whether it is benign or malignant. If it is benign no need to do anything further. If it is malignant, if it is malignant, of course we will give chemotherapy, radiotherapy, malignant. Hai, wo to denge hi denge. What is the another problem apart from chemo and radio here? If it is malignant, the regional lymph nodes of breast are present in the axilla. So this is the axillary lymph nodes of this patient. So if it is malignant, it may have spread it to this regional lymph nodes that is axillary lymph nodes. In such scenario, if it comes out to be malignant, I have to take the axillary lymph nodes also out of the body apart from the breast lung. So breast ka lump to nikal na hai, nikal na hai. Now in breast two types of surgeries are there. Lumpectomy or mastectomy. In lumpectomy, surgeons take only lump out. In mastectomy, entire breast is taken out. Anyways, so whatever surgeries you decide depending on the size of the tumor. 
if it is a small tumor go for lumpectomy rest of the breast can be preserved and if it, it is a large tumor go for mastectomy because after taking the lump uh, anyhow no more breast is remaining uh, small tissue is remaining so take the entire breast out and also depend on the age of the patient if young age patient is there for cosmetic purpose she will prefer lumpectomy and old patient is there then she don't have any cosmetic issues so you can go for mastectomy also done after after mastectomy plastic surgery can be done for the prosthesis so this surgery is done so okay it this the primary surgery is done what is your issue if after four days from pathology the report turns out to be malignant report turns out to be malignant then you have to plan for second surgery for taking this axillary lymph nodes out now do do bar surgery karna patient ka at a duration of at a span of four days now it is difficult na patient will say ek hi bar mein kar do agar karna hi hai to you do it in once only in one setting only once i am going in the ot you are giving anesthesia anyhow so in that anesthesia only you do you take the both things out you take breast tumor also and you take axillary lymph nodes also but you want to take axillary lymph nodes out of the body only in case if it is malignant if it is benign you don't want to take these out if it is malignant you want to take these out and in both the scenario benign or malignant you want to take the lump out lump to dono scenario mein bahar nikalna hai lekin malignant hai to lymph node bhi nikalna hai benign hai to lymph node nahi nikalna hai mera problem samjha have you understood my problem so and patient wants to do in the same sitting but report requires 4 days na before 3 or 4 days how can i decide whether it is benign or malignant I am a surgeon. It is not my job. Now, how can I looking at the lump? I can say I can't say on the OT. Patient is uh, unconscious in front of me in OT. I have taken the breast lump out. Breast lump is in my hand. Looking at the breast lump, I can't say whether it is benign or malignant. So, whether I should uh, proceed my surgery, take the lymph node out, or close the patient. So, what I should do? I need a pathology report, histopathology report of this lump, of this lump at least, either of this lump. or i will take one of the lymph node one means the first lymph node to be involved the first lymph node the regional lymph node is known as sentinel lymph node sentinel sentinel lymph node is the first lymph node in the way of the tumor in the axilla the first lymph node agar lymph node involve hue honge to sabse pehle it 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 occurs in sequence only so first lymph node involves then second then third then fourth so take the first lymph node out if it is involved then rest of them is involved if it is not involved none of them is involved what is my problem i want to do it on ot only in ot only i am in operation theater and within 5 10 minutes i i need the report i have i am a surgeon i have taken the primary lump out now i will call a pathologist i will arrange a histopathologist in the ot only in operation theater only from the lab i will call him to the ot only i will ask to take the microscope also so pathologist is sitting in ot only in near the ot so uh, i will give this this tumor to the pathologist or the first lymph node sentinel lymph node to the pathologist and ask him to give the report within 10 minutes so how he will give the report within 10 minutes there are six steps na पहले तो बोलेगा 24 फोर आवर तो फिक्सेशन चलता है फिक्सेशन के बाद विदाउट फिक्सेशन नहीं होता 24 फोर आवर फिक्सेशन चलता है देन 12 आवर्स के लिए टिश्यू प्रोसेसिंग होता है आफ्टर दैट एम्बेडिंग होता है फिर कटिंग होता है फिर स्टेनिंग होता है फिर माइक्रोस्कोपिक एग्जामिनेशन होता है द होल प्रोसेस टेक्स फोर्टी एट टू सेवेंटी टू आवर्स एंड यू आर आस्किंग द रिपोर्ट इन टेन मिनट्स हाउ इट कैन बी डन कैन इट बी डन ये इट कैन बी डन इट कैन बी डन विद अ डिफरेंट टेक्निक नोन एज फ्रोजन सेक्शन so you can offer frozen section to your patient aur ye sab before surgery usko samjhana padega ki hum aapka ek special jaanch we will do a special test of you the report of which will occur in uh, ot itself usually we take the lump out send it to the laboratory and report comes after 4 days then we will do the second surgery and if you want both surgeries to take place simultaneously in one sitting only then we have to arrange a pathologist in the ot only and that pathologist will give the report within 10 minutes by a special technique known as frozen section so within 10 minutes after 10 minutes we will decide whether it is benign or malignant if it is benign we will close we will give the suture if it is malignant we will do another surgery we will take your lymph nodes out and then we will close it so both the surgeries will take place in one sitting only and within 10 minutes we will come to know whether it is benign or malignant give me a thumbs up if you got it now i will tell you the mechanism of frozen section and how it differs from normal standard technique formalin section paraffin section have you got it have you got it have you got it say something na yes or no say something so what is frozen section what is the significance of frozen section what what was my motto behind the whole story is to tell you the significance significance is that the main difference between the two is that paraffin reporting paraffin embedded technique reporting requires 48 hours to get complete frozen section can be reported within 10 minutes so what the, so you have the tissue you have a breast lump in uh, in your hand this is the breast lump in your hand this is the lump now you will cut it you will take one section out now in in paraffin embedded technique this section was embedded on wax 
on wax on wax so for embedding on the wax you have to do tissue processing before and fixation bina fixation or bina embed of tissue processing ke you cannot embed on molten wax but instead of wax if you use water you you use water as a cutting medium water ko freeze karke ice bana lo aur usko as a cutting medium use kar lo so instead of wax you are using water here so water will freeze it will get converted into ice and you will cut the block so block of ice is formed instead of block of wax block of ice is formed same cassettes are used plastic cassettes metallic cassettes but the cassette is filled here with water not with wax not with molten wax we will fill the cassette with water so if you are filling the cassette with water we can directly use the tissue there is no need of fixation before it and there is no need of tissue processing before it so directly you take the tissue you are a pathologist you are sitting in ot surgeon has given lump in your hand doctor please give me the report in 10 15 minutes patient is unconscious he is in anesthesia i will wait for 10 15 minutes you tell me whether it is benign or malignant then i will plan ahead if it is you say if it is benign i will close the patient i will give the sutures you say if it is malignant i will continue my surgery i will take axillary lymph nodes also out so you just say it i am waiting for it so surgeon is on hold the anesthesia is on hold the whole team is on hold and it relies on your report you are a histopathologist now your work start your work is only for 10 minutes but it is the most precious work it will decide the further plan ahead Done. now you are a histopathologist sitting there what you will do you will cut one section out you will take the cassette so frozen section so you will so instead of water you are using instead of wax you are using water and you are freezing the water so it will form ice so this is the tissue you can see the black colored lines the black colored lines is the tissue so the same process same process you are taking a cassette you are filling it with water with the help of forceps you are putting tissue tissue will sink at the bottom and you are freezing it you are freezing it so immediately freezer chahiye at minus 70 degree at minus 70 degree uh, temperature so that as soon as you put filled with water this cassette you put in the machine so that machine should freeze it within few seconds or minutes you don't have time within one minute it should convert into ice within one minute so that machine is known as cryo cryo state cryo stat 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 means at that instant and cryo cryo means uh, ice so cryo stat machine is used so it is like this can you see so this is the uh, pathologist or a technician and this is the machine so inside the machine we are putting putting this and uh, it will get frozen frozen within few minutes and after that the same thing we will cut it so cryo stat mein hi microtome hai here microtome is present in the cryo stat only done so microtome is present in the cryo state only and you will cut it thin thin section so yahan pe itna thin nahi kaat sakte hai 5 micrometer ka to kaatna padega usse thin nahi katega so at least 5 micrometer thin section you will cut you will take it on a slide the ice section you will take it on a slide you will stain it staining kaun si karoge yahan pe staining ache nahi bhi kar sakte ho aap or you can use toluidine blue also so you can use another stain also toluidine blue and after that so uh, you will do a rapid intraoperative diagnosis of the procedure so that is the uh, main motto behind doing a frozen section so you can see so there is a surgeon also and there is a pathologist also both of them are looking at the tissue both of them are looking at the tissue of the patient and they are deciding whether it is benign and malignant after that the surgery will be proceeded patient is on hold patient is anesthesia team is handling the patient patient is on hold waiting for the further plan patient is on hold so you have to be fast furious and accurate if you are a pathologist histopathologist practicing frozen section so practicing frozen section in pathology is not a easy job so bahut pressure hota hai you have to give your diagnosis right accurate and within 5 10 minutes bar bar surgeon aapko kahega ki be fast aur surgeon aisa nahi ki aa dete hain abhi zara mujhe aa nahi raha google pe pad ke batate hain aisa nahi hai so you have to be fast you should be firm so practicing frozen section is not a easy job done so that is the thing have you got it so it is a procedure that is generally carried out when patient is undergoing surgery at the time of surgery it is going out so we use unfixed tissue only we are not fixing it in friend person buffered formalin for 24 hours we are directly using unfixed tissue and instead of wax we are using ice as a cutting medium so these are the differences and report will be given within 10 minutes so rapid hne or toluidine blue both can be done done so have you got it have you got it say yes or no say yes or no so surgeon plus pathologist together will decide what should be the plan ahead intraoperatively 
फॉर द सर्जरी टू द पेशेंट एंड ये सब करने से पहले आप काउंसलिंग पहले ही कर दोगे पेशेंट की उसके रिलेटिव्स की ये नहीं कि अंदर जाके जो करेंगे हम करेंगे वो पूरा काउंसिल करोगे कि हम वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ स्पेशल टेस्ट द नेम ऑफ द स्पेशल टेस्ट इज फ्रोजन सेक्शन इन विच विल वी कॉल अ स्पेशल पैथोलॉजिस्ट फॉर यू इन द ओटी द पैथोलॉजिस्ट विल कम विथ इज माइक्रोस्कोप विद इज इंस्ट्रूमेंट विद इज क्रायोस्टेट नियर द ओटी ही विल बी वेटिंग सो वी विल स्टार्ट द सर्जरी वी विल कॉल द पैथोलॉजिस्ट वी हैव स्टार्टेड सर्जरी यू जस्ट कम and pathologist is waiting there so as soon as we take the lump out we are uh, first lymph node sentinel lymph node as soon as we take out of the body of your patient we will handle the specimen to the pathologist pathologist will cut it take a section of it make a frozen section of it see under the microscope stain it see under the microscope and pathologist will tell us whether it is benign or malignant within 10 15 minutes he will tell, tell us ideal time should be 10 minutes less than 10 minutes so tet of frozen section is very less so that is the most critical thing so you have to give your report timely within 10 minutes patient is on hold so based on that we will decide what is the plan ahead if he says it is benign it is benign then we will close the patient we will give the suture if he says it is malignant it is malignant then uh, we will do second surgery also that is we will take lymph nodes also so not only in breast cancer in many other cancers also this technique is used nowadays so it is a latest technique if you are a surgeon you should counsel your patient to to go for it if it is useful for them iske liye kya kya kitni cheeze bach rahi hai na second puri surgery ki ek morbidity aap bacha rahe ho and quick diagnosis you are getting so you will say ma'am why always not frozen section as compared to paraffin paraffin mein three days wait kyun karna hai frozen hi karwao na har baar so some of the surgeons think like this no frozen section pe morphology is not as clearly seen as it is seen on paraffin wax dikhta hai lekin itna acha nahi dikhta दिखता है लेकिन इट इट रिक्वायर्स अ वेरी एक्सपीरियंस पैथोलॉजिस्ट हु हैव सीन मिलियंस ऑफ केसेस बिफोर रिपोर्टिंग फ्रोजन सेक्शन और लॉट्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिस सो लुकिंग एट इट इट इज नॉट वेरी क्लियर इमेज बिकॉज यू आर टेकिंग इट ऑन आइस ना सो आइस पे इतना अच्छा सेक्शन एंड द टिश्यू इज अनफिक्स्ड सो इतना अच्छा सेक्शनिंग नहीं होगा एज कंपेयर टू पैराफिन पैराफिन पे यू कैन बी श्योर इनफ इट इज बिनाइन और इट इज मेलेग्नेट ऑन फ्रोजन इट इज प्रोबेबल आई थिंक इट इज बिनाइन और आई थिंक इट इज मेलेग्नेट बट आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर सो बेस्ड ऑन योर प्रोबेबिलिटी द सर्जरी इज गोइंग ऑन सो इट रिक्वायर्स ट्रेन आईज एंड एक्सपीरियंस डन सो नॉट ऑलवेज फ्रोजन सेक्शन शुड बी कैरीड आउट ओनली इन द स्पेसिफिक सिनेरियोज वैन पेशेंट इज बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम दैट अदरवाइज इफ द पेशेंट कैन वेट फॉर थ्री डेज फॉर द रिपोर्ट बेटर टू वेट If patient can't wait and on the OT table it changes the plan in OT, then only go for frozen section. So that is the same. Done. So we are done with the first method, histological method. The two types of histological methods: paraffin embedded block technique and frozen section technique. Give me a thumbs up, everyone, everyone. So that is the diagnosis of cancer. Now I will talk about cytological methods, FNAC, and all about it. But this link is expiring. So after ten minutes, I will see you again sharp at ten o'clock. At ten o'clock again, join another YouTube link. The name of the YouTube link is Tumor Markers. So join that link. In that link, I will start first from cytology, FNAC, then immunochemistry, histochemistry, ISC, electron microscopy, and tumor markers. So I will cover all these topics in the second link. So don't go anywhere. Come back. I'm I'm ending this session after ten minutes at ten o'clock sharp. Join another YouTube link only. So uh, see you again. So we will continue it. I want everyone back. Have a cup of tea and coffee.